Hey guys, so I'm still out here with my barely functioning Wi-Fi, so I can't really play games yet. But I figured, why not check out the Destiny Reddit? Um, the title says, first time in quotes, because I tried to record this video before and uh, the audio didn't record. So here I am again. Effectively, the gist of it was, I never go on Reddit. I have other forums to waste my time on. And uh, if I have questions, you know, I have my friend to ask and he answers all my questions because he does go to the Reddit. So I never bothered. And also, I just hate the way Reddit set up. Anyway, basically, this is me exploring Reddit uh, for the first time, really. And um, from what I hear, a little birdie tells me there was a hot uh, this week at Bungie today. So I figured what better time to try to re-record this than when some new hotness came in because quite frankly last time the reddit was pretty boring so hopefully things are a little bit spicier this time uh let's go check it out all right so i decided not to read the uh this week at bungie going into this just because i figured you know all right so we're going by the hotness i kind of want to see people get like upset i want to see people like mad about this all right, anyway, we'll uh, maybe circle back to that one. If fusion rifles were good enough to be meta, they'd be meta. You know, if I had cereal for breakfast this morning, then I had cereal for breakfast this morning. <laughs> I get teabagged so much while using a fusion rifle in the crucible. <laughs> okay, so this guy's just mad. I see a lot of scorn for them here as well. But look up the numbers. In PvP, every fusion rifle, there's for every fusion rifle, there's three shotguns. Is there a way you can look that up? Why is that, do you think? Are people making a noble sacrifice by avoiding fusions to use inferior but more balanced shotguns? Hell no. People use more shotguns because they think shotguns are better. Every meta is dominated by weapons that hit critical benchmarks of one consistency and performance and two ease of use. Okay, let's see what people have to say about this. As a full-fledged vooper slash fusioner, when I get killed by another fusioner, I always think, nice play. <laughs> when I get killed by a shotgun, I think, GD ape. Every single time I get killed by a shotgun, there's zero skill involved. Same with snipers. I never say nice snipe. I never say I was outplayed. I'm just kidding. I'm glad I'm not the only one as a fellow voo boy. When I get vooped out of existence, I think yes. Nice job, lad slash lady. However, if I get shotty to the body, I think no. No! Haha, <laughs> same here. When I see one rocking a fusion rifle, I think, ah, a worthy opponent, a fellow intellectual, and try to make them, and <laughs> I try to outweigh them. Bonus points if they're using something that, other than Erentil. I can't put mine down. The only fusion I don't like. Okay, no one likes dying to Yotun. I, I feel you, dude. Whoa, go to college with an ROTC program and graduate as an officer? No thanks. No time to explain, Leak. Let's check it out. a lot of times so. play d2 on console am i right <laughs> this is why i can't play games what are you looking at here chinese rate of fire magazine size is that what that is i guess it was leaked by saying work at translation times 24 rpm 24 rounds per clip spin again the rounds will return to the clip and open a time portal full auto. Hmm. Time portal. I wonder what that is going to be. Hunter cosplay. See, like, when I did this on Monday, there was no pictures of anything. That's what I came to see, like memes and stuff. But, like, there was nothing. This is cool. I like this helmet. Chest piece looks good. Whole thing looks good. All right, next post. We're taking in Shadow Keep our 40% off and 50% off, respectively on Steam. Okay, thanks. Anyone hoping Aramis isn't killed off in the campaign a campaign like Gaul? I have no idea who that is. So yeah, I hope not. Maybe. Dang, you know what? I was expecting way more talk about the TWAB. Let's go to uh, new posts. Maybe they just aren't hot yet. I don't know if that has to do with like, uh... Upvotes. All right, did DMG delete a tweet about Trials hand cannon? There's no Trials hand cannon currently is there 
there was the water star in D1, but I don't think there's one in D2, is there? There's the trials of the nine, there was two of them, I think, but. My friend is absolutely sure that DMG made a tweet a few weeks ago about an old D1 trials hand cannon coming back and then deleted it. <laughs> Hard to know. <laughs> Good job. Jade Rabbit will become the best scout rifle in the game for PvP when Beyond Light rolls around. Even better than they are now. Oh, best 150, okay. I feel like Jade Rabbit was always one of the best scouts. So I'm guessing they buffed scout damage. I was really hoping that someone was just gonna like talk about these. Uh-oh. So 600s are getting nerfed a bit. Honestly, bet money on Vigilance Wing slash Pulse Rifle meta. Auto rifles are getting nerfed? 600 RPM auto rifles? Is that what this means? Is that gnawing hunger, I think? 600s will probably be strong and not saying they will be trash. Aggressive pulses will be most used in my opinion. If aggressive pulses are the four burst ones, like um, Blast Furnace, dude, Blast Furnace, when I first used that thing, was so crazy. Um, so I mean, if that's the new meta, I have a decent one. That's all I'm gonna say. Solo Crota on my phone. How's this? Oh, is this like Stadia? Oh, Xbox. Yeah. That's pretty neat. PvP topic, let's check it out. Survival Freelance is some of the most fun I've had in PvP in a long time and should stay. I'm only a casual solo player, mostly stick to PvE experience purely because more hardcore PvP like trial survival nominations are extraordinarily difficult, which isn't my cup of tea. That's why I'm pleading with you to keep it or at least think of ways of implementing something similar. Are they getting rid of it? I don't think it's going away. In fact, I think they're introducing Iron Banner Freelance as well. That would be sick. Okay, good. I'm glad it's not going away. And I'm glad this guy uh, saw the light. I think survive, Survival Freelance is uh, it's fun. And also how I got my Unbroken title. But I think it is fun. So, you know, check it. Finally got my first title. I finished Wafer after only needing two weapons for over a year. Good job to this guy. I only have one title also, so I feel you. All right, let's uh, top posts for today, yeah. Um, I wonder what Shax's reaction to Guardians wielding the freaking Darkness and Crucible matches will be. Yeah. Um, I haven't drawn in 15 years, decided to make a Guardian last night. Oh, let's see what this is. That's pretty cool. I like the little nine thing here. The background's sick. This is kind of what I was hoping more the Reddit would be, not just like people asking questions, but I get it if you don't have a friend like Ben to answer your questions like I do, this is where you come. So I guess that's why I, I never really felt compelled to Check this out. I see a lot of stuff on Twitter anyway. A lot of, uh... Never mind. So I just figured I never really needed to come here. Plus, I hate the way this website is set up. So it looks like... Dude, I was really hoping there would be like something really cool and like a lot of people talking about like the TWAB, but I don't see it here. So for my own sake, I'm just going to look at it now and uh, see what's going on. Uh, so I guess that's going to do it. Um, I was really expecting more from the Reddit. I'm sure that there's uh, times where it's really popping off, but what are you going to do? I guess I'll stick to uh, just reading whatever shows up on my timeline on Twitter instead. So I guess if you uh, have no one to ask or talk to you about Destiny, this is a place to do it. Other than that, I was expecting a lot more, to be honest. 
Um, so I'm really disappointed in all of them. All right, that being said, if there's any other Reddits, uh, I don't go on Reddit, like I said, so if there's any other that you think I should uh, check out and do a review video like this, let me know and I'll do it. And I will uh, be brutally honest and hard about my critique about it because I dislike Reddit. So thank you.